this is Gabby Gutierrez. We're gonna go over how to make a normal map in our program called Modo. So we're gonna first make sure that we are opened up in Special Projects, Boros VR Classroom, and chose the file Amphitheater. You might open up to something called the Render tab, which shows you the final result if you, if you were to hit that play button on the screen. So we're gonna see that we're we have our chair that we previously did the texture map for, and we also marked down. So now we're just gonna switch back to our UV mapping panel. And to do that, we're gonna do is hit control, hold down. We're gonna hold down control and that little accent, and then a ring of different UI should pop up and we're gonna hit UV. Okay, so we have our UV uh, uh, interface up. We're gonna make sure that we are selected on the item by hitting five on the top of our keyboard. And you can see where I'm clicking on the overlay of my keyboard. Um, this helps to follow along with what I'm doing since this is a new program. So once we have the item selected, we can then, the tab below where it says list, in list, you're going to see a, a little, um, you're going to see something called UV maps. In UV maps, if you were to click on that little triangle next to it, it's going to open up a item down there. That is the UV map for chairs. So once you have that open with the UV map, you're going to click on it, and there should be an image on the left-hand side in the light gray grid that shows the 2D flat version of the 3D object. Once you do, make sure that it's highlighted, the item's highlighted, and then you're gonna hit four on the top of the keyboard, not four on the keypad. You're gonna hit any part of the 3D object that is on your right hand, right handed screen, and there you're gonna see something highlighted. The highlighted one is the material for that layer. So once we're there in the material folder for that item, we're gonna go up top where it says add layer. In add layer, we're gonna go down to image map. We're gonna go to something called new image. Once we select that, a window should pop up. That is the directory that we're gonna save the normal map in. And like the texture one, we're gonna save it in the same texture folder that is in Borel's VR classroom folder. So we're gonna make it a uh, normal map chair, normal map, and save it as a targa. That's perfectly fine. Um, let's just keep it as target, just for consistency. And once we save that in the appropriate folder, we're going to hit the resolution. The resolution should be 1024 by 1024. Once we have that, we're going to have this hit OK. Once we hit OK, um, on your right hand, underneath the shading tab, in that material folder that we were selected, there's going to be another item that's, that's appear. It will be highlighted but it should have the same name that you typed in like a few seconds ago. Once it does, you're gonna go, you're gonna see the name of the file that you made, but you're gonna see something called diffuse color. We don't want diffuse color. We wanna change it to something called nor object normal. So it, so it indicates to the computer that we're gonna make a normal map. So you're gonna right click on diffuse color and this window should pop up. So you're just gonna type in object normal. It should pop up pretty easily after like OB. So once we have object normal, we're gonna select that, change the fuse color to object normal, and then we're gonna start going through the process of making a normal map. Then go into the render tab that's all the way up top. All right, so once you hit bake to selected texture, the render window should pop up and you can let the computer do its thing. But while it's doing its thing, you wanna make sure that in the, pre in the render window, you double check what the render is going to look like. If it has these rainbow pastel colors, that's the normal map, and you made a normal map. If you didn't, then you either redo the process or rename the file and check off on the Excel sheet what you actually made. So once you've figured out which one that you rendered out, you can just walk away from the computer, work on something else, and uh, to stay toasty with the amount of heat that's gonna come out of the computer from doing this. So that's Easy Bake Textures with Gabby G.